Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Welcome, I am Jonathan the Appliance Dude here at Curto's in Westchester County. I come to you from the mountain high atop Central Avenue in beautiful and bucolic Yonkers, New York. Hello and welcome. Grilling season, outdoor season, has uh, taken off much earlier than anticipated this year. And um, things are flying, they're flying here. And that's my favorite category to sell. Um, so let's get down to it. I am sitting here in front of this beautiful Alfresco 42 inch grill built in with the Sear Zone integrated ALXC series, the new series, and in my humble opinion, the best of the premium gas grills out there. And I sell them all, folks, and my heart really lies with this one. I have it at home, it's one of my six grills that I own, and I've been kicking the tires, doing what I have to do, and putting it through the paces. And the coolest thing about this grill, okay, is the fact that it gives you, it gives you the option of not cooking with gas. You could actually cook with solid fuels, i.e. lump hardwood charcoal or, uh, or wood, uh, wood chunks, um, which is my preference because to me, gas, cooking with gas is the following. The great thing about gas is its convenience. You turn it on, it's there. You're good to go in a few minutes. Now, I prefer cooking with solid fuel sources, i.e., again, the lump hardwood charcoal or wood, and I do that on my Kamado, I do that on my Memphis grill, and we're talking a complete um, polar opposite change in taste and in just the entire experience of cooking. Um, and your, your olfactory senses are taken to just a completely different level. So, um, what the gas girls do is they don't, they don't afford you that opportunity, but they're giving you convenience. Um, you light it up, you're good to go. When my wife calls me at work, and she has the three little ones, and she has to put some chicken cutlets on really quickly, she's not going to the Kamado for that. It just takes too long. It's pop, hit the DCS or the Alfresco. She's got everything done in about 10 minutes. Um, gas, convenient. So what Alfresco did is they've taken the convenience of gas, but they've married it with the ability to use that to ignite lump hardwood charcoal or wood. So what they did is they came out with this device right here, okay, it is a solid fuel insert. So it's literally like a stainless steel basket that you insert over one of the burners, and what you will do is you'll turn the burner on for about five minutes, and then your charcoal or your wood is ignited. You turn it off, you're good to go. And um, let me actually take this thing out on the top layer we have your typically thick alfresco grate and then the basket itself you can see here okay I mean it literally is a stainless basket and what do I have inside Kamado Joe lump hardwood charcoal folks it's carbonized tree Argentinian hardwood here it's organic it's good for you and it tastes damn good uh, wood chunks as well and look how easy it is to put in okay it goes right in, you're done. So like I said, put your fuel source in there, ignite, uh, about five minutes, you are good to go. Turn the gas off and you're going to be loving life. You could probably see some videos now, there's probably ribeyes or skirt steaks, I don't know which one I'm using here, but um, um, the incredible thing about it is that you, aside from the fact that it's giving a completely different flavor profile to the proteins that you're putting on there, um, you're also getting an incredibly, incredibly hot temperature at the grate level, okay? So um, this, what I'm telling folks, my new kind of tact on the sales floor is listen, if you're doing a 42 or you're doing a 56, forget the sear zone. Now I think on the 56, the sear zone just comes with it, but on a 42, I've actually been telling people take the sear out, okay? Now you have all grill, so you could actually put two of these bad boys in there or have oil grill and throw a sear, they, they, have a, they have a sear zone side burner that could be integrated into your outdoor kitchen if you want the infrared. But the reason why I believe that this is a great substitute for the sear zone is that this will get to an infernal temperature like the sear zone, but because of the heat source, 
I think it's better to sear on this than on the infrared because I believe the infrared heat actually will dry the food out. That's been my, you know, my experience with it. Now I do have some buds out there who swear by their sear zone, some guys who own Lynx. They own the, the Fire Magic with all IR burners inside it. And you know, one of, my, one of my guys was saying down in Miami, he goes, Jonathan, look, it took me four years to figure out how to do it, but I got the Lynx to do all sear. That's the only way I want to grill now. Well, four years, good but that's a lot of meat wasted, probably in your attempts to master that. Um, I, my parents have an all sear lynx. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the world. I'm sure it has its attributes, but for me, I'm gonna do a one compartment with the sear or throw it on the side. But now, with the introduction of this, the wood insert, um, or the solid fuel insert is what I should really call it, that's what it's called. Uh, you can sear, but you're searing with wood and with charcoal as opposed to an IR burner, and it's just a completely different experience aside from taste and also from just the potential to draw, drying your food out too quick. Um, how hot does it get? My temperature gun, my infrared gun, um, I think it actually taps out at about a thousand degrees. So I have hit this thing with it. You could see some temperature registers probably running by here. It's tilted it like a pinball machine back in the day when your score would get too high, the machine would tilt. This thing has tilted my gun on numerous occasions. So um, I've been playing around with it. I love it. Um, the only thing that I have beef with about it, and this is really something that they just, I don't think they can change it because of the fundamental design of the actual grill, is that I don't find that it's very deep. So, for instance, on my Kamado, there is a tremendous amount of headroom between where the fuel source is on the bottom and where I could potentially layer my grates. Remember, a Kamado, we have multiple levels of cooking surface, very customizable in that fashion. Whereas this guy, the fuel source is relatively close to the grate, so that's a lot of heat near, near the grate, and it's just it's something that you're going to have to stay on top of or you will burn your food and turn it into freaking ash. All right? So, because, and it just, they can't do really do anything about it just because of the way the grill is designed. I did speak to somebody in the know and they were talking about, hey, maybe we could actually take, they could take the smoker burner out because um, the smoker burner on the alfresco is actually embedded within the grill. You know, maybe they remove that. Maybe they don't need a smoker. Um, you could put the solid fuel insert in there, thus creating a deeper, uh, you know, more headroom. Eh, I don't know. I've actually, I found that this, the integrated smoking device or integrated urban fusion system, whatever they call it, is actually a very cool feature on this grill, so I wouldn't be uh, so quick to remove it. But in any case, this has completely altered the way that I grill on a gas grill now. My, my, my DCS right now has been neglected because I don't have the option of doing that with the DCS, so I'm all on alfresco right now and then some. So this is $575. I highly recommend getting it because it completely will completely revolutionize, alter the way that you grill. I mean, why not? The food's going to come out tasting better, and um, you know you're going to get sears, and you're going to be working at temperatures that are kind of unknown in the gas grill realm on a regular burner. So um, I'm all about the lump hardware charcoal and the wood, folks. You got to do it. Um, I hopefully I've illustrated the beauty of this uh, of this product to you and um, please check out the videos I have a lot of things on the blog showing it in action and um, again it's only $575 if I'm not mistaken so it's definitely well worth the investment um, people that's it questions Jonathan come in stop by or call me yes I can ship out fresco all over the country and I'm doing a damn good job of it as well the orders keep coming in, the phone calls keep coming in. Uh, I'm here to help folks, that's how I do it, okay? So hit me up, call me, stop in, it's all good. Thank you and happy grilling to you.